Good morning, it's looking like a beautiful sunrise here at the Atlanta airport. I just want to take a moment to document the accuracy of chill once again. I've driven 10.4 miles. I started out with a rated or estimated range of 238 miles. So it's pretty accurate. I mean, I know it's off by a couple miles, but it's better than normal. Actually, these are better stats right here. It shows only a one mile loss of estimated or rated range. All right, so I started with 238. Well, that just dropped from 158 to 157. And I've driven 74.4 miles. Here's my range consumption. This is according to the five mile, there's the 15 mile, and then there's the 30. So projected range is, and this is usually what you can kind of count on, but it'll come up and meet this number in the middle. I don't know how many times I can say that, but I'm gonna keep repeating it. This is of course, best case scenario it's accurate if you continue to be very conservative with your driving and I must say this this entire drive I've been driving without climate control mind you because it is the perfect temperature outside right now 57 degrees Fahrenheit to me is perfect at least from for the way I'm dressed and all that everything's working out perfect I haven't felt the need to turn on the climate control or anything like that so all right, well, it's time for me to take a detour here. Okay, so I'm gonna go on and plug the car up. I was gonna push it and see how far I could get, but as I've mentioned before, it is not good to push the car when you don't know what you might have to do or where you may have to go, in other words. So here is the summary. I started out with a rated or estimated range, however you want to call it, of 238 miles. I drove 89.3 miles. And my five mile consumption is, I'm sorry, the projected range on the five mile consumption is 233 from this point, playing my cards right or continuing to do as I've been doing. Uh, the next one would be, uh, on the 15 mile, would be 180. And on the 30 mile, it would be 151. So, there you have it. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and plug up now. But in, in summary, if you stay in chill mode the whole time, and you leave the climate control off, and it is somewhere around 55 degrees or 14 to 15 degrees Celsius, 55 being Fahrenheit, 57. It's the perfect temperature for this car. I don't know what it is, but there's something about being somewhere to the mid to upper 50s and not using the climate control and being in chill mode. This car really, the, the battery consumption just completely shines, or um, shall I say, the range shines when you are in this mode. So, uh, I'm, I'm feeling pretty good right now. I, as a matter of fact, I'd say the car is really outperforming itself here at almost 50,000 miles. So just to show what I'm doing here, I'm going to go back. I had it set right about here. And I stopped it a little short at 238. But I'm going to put it back to here. These days... Charging to 90% has been giving me 227 to 228 miles. It fluctuates a little bit. So a quick follow-up. Started out, decided to charge the car back up a little bit. Charged it to uh, an estimated 202 miles. You see it's 164 there. It was 165 when I hit the button, but I just missed it. Anyway, I've driven almost 31 miles. So the consumption's pretty good. This time I am 
the range is pretty good, is what I meant to say. This time, I'm looking at five miles, giving me 168 with the way I'm driving. Five miles, over the past five miles of them judging, with the computer judging the way I've been driving. 15, 171, and 30, 144. I had some moments where I pushed on it a good bit. Now I'm playing the music, I'm running the climate control, still. We always like to stay right here, so the range is good right now. Things are going well. And as you can see, the temperature has gone up to 60 degrees Fahrenheit. So that's even more of a sweet spot for this car. Like I said, anywhere close to 60 Fahrenheit, you're going to be pretty good to go as far as the battery being at optimal temperature and all that. This will be my third and final report for today with the, as far as range is concerned. Now, what's interesting to mention here is that 156 dropped down to 155 or, or so, and then it went back up. So I've driven nearly 40 miles, 39.6 miles, and currently, oh, and I started with 202, and here is what what we're seeing as far as, uh, con oops, sorry, the consumption. So at five miles, over the past five miles, they're, they're estimating or projecting that I'll get, the Tesla is estimating or projecting that I will get 154. The, over the past 15 miles of driving, it is projecting that I'll get 157. And over the past 30 miles, it projects that I will get 162.